All right, I'm making some uh, muffins, and you know, blueberry muffins are pretty good. But uh, everybody just acts like that's the end of the road, blueberry muffins. That doesn't really make a lot of sense because there's other berries you can add, like here's a berry blend, for example. We can add some of that in there. So like here's the blueberries frozen. I wish I had some fresh, but it's too early in the year still. We come over here, say we add some of this berry blend to it. Now some people claim adding lemon zest or something to your muffin will like create a contrast of flavors. So instead what I do, uh, I got this real sweet uh, orange juice. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that on there. Three uh, dribbles of that. And monk fruit, concentrate. You know, a couple hundred times sweeter than sugar, at least. So we really want to get those extra sweet. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to let that soak a little bit there while we make the rest of the muffins. All right. All right, so I've mixed the uh, six eggs with the couple of sticks of butter. And also this recipe, interestingly enough, calls for cream as well right in there. So I'll add some of that. About half of this pint, I guess. There we are. I mean, they claim you need to mix it for a whole bunch of time until what, the cream's turning to whipped cream? And then it's like extra fluffy muffins? So I don't really know about that. It seems kind of extreme. Anyways, we'll add our, well, let's start with our sugar. Usually you mix it with sugar first. Nice coconut sugar in there. I mean, I kind of like gritty textured muffins anyways. Well, a lot of people do. So, uh, coconut sugar is good for that as well as uh, sucanut or whatever. I'm supposed to put a little bit of the time in the... Personally, I think I prefer... Um, a hand whisk once it starts getting thicker it's a lot easier to work with yeah this is so much better look at that like that makes such a mess any type of whipper does that's ridiculous See that? It's just about thick enough to where you can't use this anymore. And I believe that's the consistency we're looking for at this point. So I'll just uh, get some of this excess off, I guess.
Now here's gonna be our risins here. We've got the Honey June, Jun, and we have our regular old O'Doul's that's, you know, nut cast barrels. So the nut wood really makes the alcohol work good as a risin. Um, I guess we don't need too much of this. The honey jun is really powerful. I like that. And oh, duels taste really good. So we'll put about the same amount of that. Oh yeah, frothy delights. That's what I'm talking about. That's gonna make it a little less sweet, but that's why we have our monk fruit, you know, with our fruit over there. It's gonna be perfect together. Okay, let's uh, add our fruit in there and we'll tuck it into our rest of our mixture. Let me uh, get do do we love do do you love me Look at that, yeah. Oh. I have to I'm gonna have to sprinkle cinnamon all over these sensual muffins now. I didn't put any spices on them, in them. I'm putting them on them. Damn, he's powdering those boys. They don't know what hit them. They don't know what hit them. They'll never be the same. Then we put a little bit of nutmeg. Cause it's delicious. Ooh. He's nutmegging them. I feel it. That's all I know how to do. All right, and then we'll sprinkle some little, uh, you know, dried out canned pineapples on top. I did the best I could to make it sort of dry. Still got some juice in it. Yeah. Hopefully this cooks and tastes okay. Hopefully. We will find out. If we messed up, then it'll be a hilarious anecdote of what all we used to almost never do. I always almost never do it. Mm-hmm. That's how I roll. Well, let's put them in the oven for a while. Maybe 30, 40 minutes, who knows? Put those immoral muffins in there. Yep. Delicious muffins have reached their maximum swelling. Looks like they rose pretty good from the dead, etc. Lazarus, you have risen. Yep, on the third day. Oh yeah, I guess we have to wait for them to cool off to try them, but those look so good. Mm -hmm. Like the cinnamon on the pineapple is going to be amazing. <laughs> it's like it's, it tastes kind of kind of delicious at first and then it turns into really delicious. <laughs> so good. Mm -hmm.
It's so good with the pineapple all spiced with the spices on the oh, spicy is top. Good. Is that got a little bit of grain flour in it? Yeah. That's oh, so good. Right, well, I simulated gram flour because I can't actually find it or buy it without it being $2 billion. Oh. So uh, I simulated it with two other grains. Oh, okay. The uh, rye and the uh, amaranth a little bit. And we'll see what's the other one. Let me check. I gotta know. What is this one? Oh, yeah, the buckwheat's pretty good, too. 